Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Um, in today's video on SmartBoard Basics we're going to be talking about a couple of features inside the Smart Notebook software and that is the floating toolbar and pen tray customization. You might remember that when you first installed your SmartBoard or when it was added to your computer you had a tab that showed up on usually the left hand side of your desktop screen. That's the floating toolbar. Now some people like this toolbar, some people don't. Uh, it's more of a, a matter of taste, but one of the things that this toolbar allows you to do is it allows you to use some of the extra tools besides the pins on your tray that are found in Smart Notebook, but it allows you to use them outside of Smart Notebook. In other words, if you're on your desktop and you're using Word or you're using your Internet Explorer or your Google Chrome browser, these tools allow you to open up the highlighter tool, um, the right click feature, the undo button, and a host of other tools. You can simply click, hold, and drag that toolbar out to the middle so we can see it a little bit better. And you'll notice that at the bottom there is a little sprocket. This is your customize button so that you can customize this toolbar. And if you click on that button, you'll notice that there are several other little tools that you can add to this. And you can also increase the number of columns that are found in the toolbar. So if these default tools don't do it for you, there's a lot of other things that you can add. For instance, one of the things that I like to use is the Smart Recorder. So if I wanted to use that, I could just click hold and drag it over to the toolbar and it would be added. Uh, screen Capture is another nice one and you'll notice that as we add tools and we add more and more it's going to become a longer toolbar. Uh, the way to get around that is to add a column and we can throw some other tools into that second column and then when you're done you just click done. Now one of the things that people have complained about in the past that Smart was able to fix several years ago is that they don't like that the tab for that toolbar is on the left side and a lot of people have a lot of icons on the left hand side of their desktop and it just sort of gets in the way so there are a couple of ways you can take care of that if you open up the toolbar and then click hold and drag as we did before but drag to the middle of the screen you'll notice that the tab flips and then you can then dock that that tab that toolbar for the tab over to the right side of the screen so it kind of moves it out of the way and then anytime you're ready to use it just click on the tab, click on the tool you want to use, and then begin using it. Some people, however, don't like to have the tab at all. And so if you would like to hide the tab for the floating toolbar, all you have to do is go down to the bottom of the screen in your hidden icons in your system tray, go to the Smart Tools settings, and then choose Hide Floating Tools. And the toolbar goes away. If at any time you decide you want that toolbar back, you just repeat the procedure and choose Show Floating Tools, and it reappears. Very simple. Now, one of the tools that I love most about the smart hardware is the ability to change my pen tray. Now, as you know, the smart board comes depending on which board you have, the 800 series or the 600 series, comes with its own pens that you can pick up and use at any time. And the choice of color selection is black, red, green, and blue. But in my classroom, I usually use the black, the blue, and the red quite a bit, but I just never have had much of a use for the green. So what you can do is you can change or customize the pen color so that it is different from the actual color that's on the pen. Because you have to remember, these pens are not actually full of any ink. They are just a tool to write with, and the settings in the software allow the pen to show up in a certain color. So go to the Smart Tools in the hidden icons in the system tray, choose Smart Settings, and then when the pop-up menu comes up, choose Smart Hardware Settings. Now, it may not default to the pin and button settings, but if you see this drop-down menu here, you can choose all from all these different settings here. And here are our pins, the black, red, blue, and green. And I, for instance, like I said, don't use the green, so I would click to change the green. 
and on line style I can choose my color. I'm going to choose yellow because I want to make this into a highlighter and then I'll make it a little bit thicker go to fill effects and I'll make the transparency slider go down a little bit and then hit save tool properties now that I've done that you'll see that each of these has a little band next to it showing the color of the pen and this one has been changed from green to yellow now when I pick up my green pen and I write with it on the board it will now be a highlighter to apply these changes you can click apply but before we do I want to point out the fact that in addition to the pins you also have the keyboard button and the right click button you can also modify these buttons as well and you can also change the thickness of the eraser so if I wanted to make a wider sweep with the eraser I could change that and if I wanted to change the function of the on-screen keyboard and right click buttons I have the choice of several different options here um, you know print previous page next page print page all those options are available on both buttons and why this is important is that the right click button on your smart hardware you actually have the ability to right click without even using that button you can actually press and hold on most anything on your board and it will act as a right click so say for instance I wanted to change that button to print page that would then allow me anytime I'm working on the smart board to just push that button and it would print what's on the screen and that's very valuable in terms of student work you say for instance you have a student that's done something really spectacular on the board and you want to share it with their parents then you can have this button set up as a print page button and when the student is finished you can press the button and print the students work now when we're finished applying all of our settings if we click OK it closes that menu and then you can pick up your pen and you'll see that it writes as a highlighter instead of a pen now well that was just a real quick demonstration of some of the things that you can change on your smart board hopefully that gives you a little bit of an understanding as into how you can make your board work better for you and in the next video we'll be talking about some of the tabs in the smart notebook software thanks for joining me